Hey guys, in this week's retro pop culture news, a Muhammad Ali movie about what happens right after Muhammad Ali won his first boxing title is being made by Amazon. Also, Andrew McCarthy is writing a book about his time being a member of the 80s Brat Pack, and we have a lot more news to talk about, so don't turn that dial. <laughs> what up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your number one source for retro pop culture and news. So to start off the news, Oscar winning actress Regina King, she has a Muhammad Ali movie called One Night in Miami that tells the story about a few short hours before Cassius Clay, who's also Muhammad Ali, or later becomes Muhammad Ali, he beats Sonny Liston to become the new world heavyweight boxing champ. So the movie's going to be about Ali and three other uh, civil rights activists as they deal with some of those Jim Crow uh, segregation law issues that were happening in the 1960s and a lot of other things that happened right after the fight happened. You know, I didn't grow up with Muhammad Ali as a kid, but my parents did, and I know my dad, he was always telling me a lot about Muhammad Ali. Now, I grew up with Tyson, so I still got to grow up watching uh, boxing, and I do know so much about how important Muhammad Ali was to this country, um, to the, the civil rights uh, things that were going on at the time, and all of those things that, that he represented. So I'm really anxious to see this movie. And Amazon, they're actually teaming up with Regina King on making this movie. And right now, there's really no release date. But once I get more on that, I'll let y'all know. The next up, John claude Van Damme, who's one of those 80s action heroes. He's actually working on a new Netflix-funded action movie that's called The Last Mercenary. Um, it's actually being hyped as being one of those true returns to the 80s and 90s action hero movies. So let's hope that it turns out to be all that. A lot of Van Damme's more recent movies have kind of been more like brooding and less action-packed. So this will be kind of a, a cool uh, return to those types of movies that we love from him back in the 80s and 90s. And a few more quick movie news stories before we move on. There's a reboot of the classic horse story Black Beauty that's going to star Kate Winslet. Also, Amazon is working on a biopic about the country music legend Merle Haggard. It's going to star Sam Rockwell in the leading role as Merle. Then the Netflix show Nurse Hatchet, which is a spinoff of One Flew Over a Cuckoo's Nest, it finally has a release date set for September 19th. And in some other cool retro news, you guys might remember the 80s Brat Pack member, Andrew McCarthy. He starred in some of those 80s flicks like uh, Pretty in Pink and St. Elmo's Fire. Now, I do have to admit one thing to you guys. It wasn't until recently or the last couple of years ago that I actually saw St. Elmo's Fire. Um, it's a good movie. It wasn't my type of movie. I was more into sci-fi and adventure movies. I think I watched pretty much all of the Brat Pack movies growing up, and now I can add St. Elmo's Fire to the list. They're pretty good. I love those uh, those group of guys. The Brat Pack, they were, uh, they were a really fun group to watch, and the movies that all of them were in, they were phenomenal. Anyways, Andrew is working on a book about his life as a member of the Brat Pack with uh, Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, Molly Ringwald, and the rest of the pack. So the book is going to be called Brat and 80 Story, and from what McCarthy is saying about the book, it's going to be full of some pretty interesting and juicy stories. And then I thought you guys might want to check out these pretty cool sneakers that Nike is releasing that's going to be a throwback to the 1970s shoes. These have pixelated retro gaming Nike emblems on the side, and these bad boys glow in the dark. Uh, they're going to be coming out sometime this fall, so keep an eye out. Finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.